Hello and welcome to this um, short, brief guide on your new Vastel uh, interactive screen. In this uh, short video, we'll be going through a series of things including um, how to use or how to get the most out of the interactiveness of the screen, uh, software that you can use with the screen, um, how the screens incorporate well with Microsoft PowerPoint, um, and a whole host of um, upcoming software that we will be bringing uh, to you shortly. Each screen comes with a remote um, and with every screen they are freezable, uh, much like your projector and we will go through that um, all briefly also on how to do that. So firstly I've brought up a PowerPoint taken from science. Um, here we will show you how to use the pen feature um, and how uh, the screens also work well with the interactive side of some of your PowerPoints as well. Okay, so let's jump it straight in. Um, rather than going over to your laptop firstly, um, we can touch the Start Slideshow button in the top left, and this takes you straight in. Um, with every board, uh, comes with a set of uh, gestures. So for example, if we swipe right, it will go forward a uh, slide, and if we swipe left, it will go back a slide. Um, and what we've seen is, uh, from a number of trials and, and everything, is that this naturally saves time, A, you having to set out your laptop, and B, going back and forth. So, if we go forward a slide, um, so if you wanted to talk something like this, now on your projector, you would naturally have this open, and you'd have your whiteboard, and then you'd be able to use your whiteboard markers to annotate um, or write down notes and things that you'd want students to um, you want students to write. With this, however, uh, in the bottom left-hand corner, there are a set of tools. If you tap on the left-hand side corner, a bar will appear. Here, you can choose the pen feature just in the middle. Select the pen, and then here you would be able to write like you would naturally on your whiteboard. With every board comes with a stylus, so you wouldn't necessarily have to use your finger. Um, so those those will be ready readily available with the board themselves as well. Now, because we're still in the pen feature, when you go to change slides, you'll naturally draw over what you've just written. To change back to the pointer mode, you'd again, because the uh, pen is selected, the bar at the bottom uh, doesn't hide. So you can easily tap on the pen again, tap on pen again, and then you can change slide. Now the good feature about this is, is that when we go back a slide, all your notes are still there. And with Microsoft Pen, uh, that also comes with, I believe, Word as well, um, you're able to keep all your notes. Um, so I know some of you would maybe take screenshots or photos uh, to move on to your following class, whereas this, um, you're able to keep annotations with your presentations as you go along. Other useful uh, tools that come with the pen feature is, again, tapping below to the left, tap pen, pen again. You also have a razor and a highlighter. Um, say if you're in English, you're able to highlight keywords um, to point out significant things. Bring the remote back into the mix. Uh, to freeze your screen, uh, at the bottom there is a blue button. Um, on every board there is a, a, a infrared sensor. It will either be on the top or on the side, so in this case it's on the side. Pressing the blue button, you should be able to freeze the screen. Um, and from there, you will be able to move back or forth. Obviously, it will change from your laptop, so if we unfreeze it again, it goes back. A new piece of software that myself and Michael will be bringing to you uh, in the near future is a new application called Microsoft Whiteboard. Microsoft Whiteboard is a new uh, on-the-block Microsoft app, uh, which fundamentally gives you a blank canvas um, and a set of features like a pen, highlighter, ruler, uh, the ability to type in text, add photos, um, etc. 
So this is the layout of uh, Microsoft Whiteboard that you would see when you first open it. Um, you can see that I already have made a few uh, example projects here. So again, a science based. Um, so if your uh, lesson was based on um, plants and photosynthesis, uh, you'd be able to relaunch this and you'd be able to go jump back straight in to your previous lesson. If you wanted to make a new lesson, for example, or start off somewhere new, uh, you can go back, create a new whiteboard, and from there you have a complete blank canvas. Down here, very small, um, is a set of tools. So you have sticky notes, pens, uh, letter word, etc. go back and forth. Uh, so if we click the pen, and we've got a nice red pen, you can change thicknesses, colours, etc. Um, and then you can, much like Microsoft PowerPoint, you can do the same. You can do the same thing, very much like um, like an iPad or your trackpad on your laptop. So you can also zoom in and out. So if we complete that, if you pinch the screen, you can zoom in, and obviously unpinch zooms out. And this works exactly the same as uh, Microsoft PowerPoint. So if we bring it back up. Uh, from our taskbar, uh, continue from this one here, so PowerPoint. We can also zoom in to elements as well. Another feature that I'd like to bring into the mix is tablet mode on Windows. So on your laptops, um, this is something that you can enable yourself. Um, out of the box, the screens when you type in like the search bar, for example, on like um, Microsoft Edge or Chrome, um, you cannot type uh, on the screens. Um, to keep you away from your laptop and to keep you in front of the front of the class and your board and everything, um, you can enable tablet mode within the screen itself. On the bottom right of your screen, you'll have a speech bubble. If you tap on that, um, on the right will appear a long bubble. In the squares, you should see um, a button or a square called tablet mode. If you tap that, nothing changes um, apart from your taskbar and the ability to be able to type on your screen. This brings up a long taskbar, so if you wanted to type Google, you can take it in, and then once you're done with the keyboard feature, you have to make sure that you turn off tablet mode. Taskbar goes back to normal. You can no longer type. Um, if you can't see the square up or in this bar here, it's likely that it's collapsed. You'll all want to click expand and it should hopefully appear for you there. With the boards um, comes the simplicity of only having two cables now. One is the HDMI cable. Um, that will be trunked and stretched to the desk area and the other is a USB host cable. Uh, we're now removing the audio jack cables um, and removing any variables which could have an impact on teaching and learning. So that's your uh, brief um, short guide on the new screens. Um, we'll be rolling these out uh, year by year, so each department will see them pop up um, during the holidays. Naturally, um, we'll have, uh, I'm sure we'll have super users uh, for the boards that will find uh, unique and creative ways to uh, uh, enrich the learning in the classroom using these boards. Um, and if you have any issues uh, with uh, the boards, obviously you can also contact our support portal. Uh, support.timelearning.com forward slash support and there me and Mike will be able to help you as much as possible um, whether it be down to the cable, the interactiveness or how to get the most out of your screen. Thank you very much for watching and see you on the flip side.